the Saints are going to come in and take on the Patriots. And what's going on with the Patriots? And why are they only a one-point favorite against the Saints? Don't they know who the Patriots are? Don't they know about Mac? Now, why isn't Bailey Zappi? And first of all, is, is where I would start the discussion. You had the better quarterback. Maybe, you know, I'm not there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know. I just know in the moments that we've seen Bailey Zappi play quarterback in the in a regulation NFL game, it's always been pretty, oh, pretty decent. Pretty a little bit more explosive. Now, sometimes he's been in there in some mop up to you know some other situations. Maybe it's a little easier or whatever. But we all know right now that okay, the Patriots are a 500 team since Tom left. Now, I'm not one of these are saying, oh, it's more, well, it's obviously 90% Brady and not 10% Belichick. There's a lot of dynamics that go into all of it. Maybe the one of the reasons why the Patriots are hanging on here right now and still, uh, yeah, but they're one and three. It feels like they could still be a 500 club. It feels like that's what they'll be battling for a playoff spot. It's because of the coaching staff, the willing of good coaches to want to go there and coach, the willing of uh, players to want to go there and play. Um, in a you know, a situation where you know Kraft eh, reportedly treats the players pretty well, they don't mind going to New England. Now, there's obviously a problem with the offense. There's no doubt about it. And if anything, right, the Patriots have always kind of skimped by. Have Tom never had right? He always made the players kind of better around him a little bit, right? He always made kind of brought those receivers up. Yeah, there were a few spectacular receivers, but what they really ever had? They've been running back by committee for, you know, I don't know, <laughs> the whole time, it feels like to a certain extent, right? The way the kind of got players come in and out of there, the end of their career, you know, they never see a guy come burst on the scene a little bit. And why are the Patriot quarterbacks always the ones that go on to have, even if modest success, they always go on to their next stop and be pretty good. Whether or not they're a starter, you know, a serviceable starter or a backup or whatever they've gone on. You know, we've talked about them before, the guys that have left the Patriots. So why, you know, with Bailey Zappi, he could probably go to another team and they'd be like, well, there goes another Patriot quarterback. It just feels like it's not working out at this point with Mac Jones a little bit. He stands too stationary. Maybe he doesn't have any, you know, the speed isn't there. He can't run uh, or uh, whatnot. So, but here you do have the Patriots back at home. Now the, the Saints are, you know, things have been pretty decent so far. You have two good defensive teams here. Look at this total. It's 40 and uh, you probably know what you're going to get with this uh, with this game, especially with the Patriots with that one and three start so far. I mean, look at some of these point totals so far. I mean, they're all, um, you know, it's terrible. Three points, 15 points, 17 points, 20 points. And uh, and they've lost both games at home. Now, come on, the New England Patriots, you think they're going to lose another game at home? I don't know. I don't know if they are. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't trust the Saints to go on here on the road. Okay, Derek Carr is back. Thank goodness. Uh, anybody who wanted Jameis Winston in there, look, I guess if you had a backup, you need a guy in there for a play or two. Uh, but you got Jameis Winston, okay. And Steven says, how about his pads? Thomas might be on New England. Alvin Kamara. Here's Ray. He says, give me the under in this one. So I, I'm not going to trust Derek Carr on, on the road uh, at, at this point. Uh, I can barely trust him at home. I don't trust Mac Jones, but I trust him more at home. Patriots aren't getting numbers at home, but again, they've been more favored than they are now. All we're asking them to do here is win this game. And that's what I'm going to expect them to do. I'm going to expect the Patriots to win this game in a, in a matchup of strictly mediocre teams. The, the, the Saints haven't 
cross the line for me. And I'm a huge Olave fan. He is one of my top players and, you know, favorite players. Still kind of underrated, I think, even though I think everyone knows that he's the – he. I know what Thomas is saying about the dangers of a player like Alvin Kamara. But uh, Olave is one of the true – Deep threats with great hands. He doesn't. He's not even right. He's not even a, a tall, big type or see, but he just will out jump you and uh, do all that. He's great. I expect. I don't expect the New England Patriots right now, this program, to lose another home game at this point against Derek Carr. It's going to find it difficult enough against a Patriot defense in, yes, a game that certainly, as said by Stephen there, uh, this total was as high as 42. Uh, that was no good. This total is definitely at 40 right now, and it's going to be right. You know, it's going to be under that, I'm sure. I'm not uh, tipping my hand too much here, I hope. And uh, But, you know, it's also getting pretty low. It's getting close, but uh, – not much of a chance, I would think, of many many scores uh, in this uh, in this game. So I definitely I'm on the Patriots here at home, of course, against the Saints, and I, I like what the Saints are doing. Problem is they're not running running the ball very well at all. Uh, if Kamara can get off, they can get to something with their running game, then you know, then I'm then they will win if they. If they can win, if they if the Saints rush for over a hundred yards, I think they'll win. I don't know if they can do that here. So, and one thing here's the thing, Mac. Right, you you don't trust Mac on a two minute drive. The Saints are they right now. They are struggling late in um, late in halves. They don't have a clutch defense at this point. That's where they're kind of giving it up, and. Um, and and offensively, no matter who you, I mean, Winston was a disaster. Should have saw that one coming right away. The later the, the later the change, uh, that should have been a big red flag last week. They have four touchdowns so far, often on offense on offense. But I gotta make that clear. And uh, averaging just fifteen and a half points a game. Saints have gone under in all four games so far. I'm on the Patriots here to find a way to win this game. Um, could be some variance. Could come down the wire. Be careful. This is a free – that's why it's a free play. But i got to take the Patriots. All right. Stevens is under the first quarter. Question mark. Uh, if I'm going – yeah, I mean, I'm probably – probably can – if if I go I'm, – I'm never one to not uh, – I saw the one parlay they DraftKings released. They're like, oh, look at what these sports books. Remember, they, they released these parlays. Yeah, they're real winning parlays, but uh, there have been lots of losers before they, and they'll, of course, they're going to feature one they paid out for 25 grand or whatever, but um, correlated parlays and or non correlated parlays. Um, for example, asking about if I like under first quarter. If I like under in the game, I'm going to like under in every quarter. But the guy who won the big DraftKings parlay, you know, he one of the things was he had like uh, an under in the, the baseball game, but a certain player to hit a homer, so it kind of increases odds a little bit. 